Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my mid-month wrap-up. I'm super excited, so let's get into it. I read about 12 books. First book that I read in the month of March was Take My Daddy, I'll Take Yours by Jenica Snow. This one I actually ended up giving, I believe, 3.5 stars and rounded it down to a 3 star. This book is about our heroine. Her father is marrying her like arch nemesis from high school. At the wedding, our heroine runs into this daddy silver fox man, and they have this this explosive night together and then it's almost like insta love so I think that's why I gave it three stars because I loved the smut I loved their relationship but I didn't feel any emotional connection that wasn't physical and I just would have wished to see a little bit more of them like talking and having deeper conversations plus the smut if that makes sense but really kind of went zero to 100 real quick I just needed a little bit more so that's why I gave it three stars next book that I read was entangled by R. Phillips this was actually the book club pick for February I believe but we had extended it into March and I went into this book blind I didn't know anything about this book this book is about it's so hard to explain because I don't want to spoil anything but it was kind of like our heroine had this first love explosive encounter explosive tension chemistry with this one man it was so good with this one man and we get to see that relationship but that's in the past our heroine in the present is currently going back to her deceased grandmother's house she does have a dark past and so it's kind of difficult for her to go back to this small town and in this small town she ends up meeting this other man which technically would be her second love so the premise of this whole trilogy because it is a trilogy when I went into this I did not know that and it is a trilogy so the first book does end on a cliffhanger which I think I've found one of my triggers which is going into a book not knowing that it's a cliffhanger literally triggered me I to this day I haven't rated the book <laughs> because I was so mad when I finished it. I was like, what the actual fuck? Like, I was so upset. I literally, you know when you're so upset that you could literally cry from how angry you are? That was me. Anyways, besides the point, it was really good. I still haven't rated it. I don't know what to rate it. The reason why I have waited so long to rate it is because I need to read book two and book three. When I first read it, book three hadn't even come out yet. I believe it came out the 7th of March and it hadn't come out yet. So I was like, what the fuck is this shit? What the hell? So there's three books, not two, there's three. And like, I want her to pick my person, my guy. And if she doesn't, like, I'm gonna be so mad that I even read this <laughs> but um yeah that's how it went for me this currently has no rating but do I recommend I do if you like angsty tension filled I would say love triangle I'm having to choose between your first love and your second love with like darker kind of elements in there giving very much like new adultish it this smutty there is steam and it's re it's really good you guys but at least you at least you will know that it's a cliffhanger so if you do go into it at least all the three books are out now go read it if that sounds up your alley then i ended up reading hooked by emily mcintyre this one was the one that i was kind of iffy about i know i keep saying that i dnf'd it like three times then i ended up picking it back up but this time that i picked it up i ended up really loving it i gave it four stars so this one is a peter pan retelling i don't want to say retelling because it's just takes elements from the Peter Pan story and puts it in here for example our heroine is Wendy and our hero is Hook the drugs that Hook distributes because it is a dark mafia romance is it mafia yes I believe it's kind of like mafia ish it's called pixie dust so like there's elements of the retelling in there but it's not exactly a retelling the time that I was reading it I really enjoyed it I gave it four stars I love the relationship it was dark it was smutty there was a kink in here that I really liked the reason why this is to get a full five star for me is because I wish that the heroine was a little bit more of a badass heroine. I really wish that she had a bit more of a backbone and she does eventually like come into herself towards the end of the book but like I wish she would have had more of a backbone and more of a like 
self-determination to like make smarter choices because she does make stupid choices <laughs> that puts her in precarious situations so that's why i gave it four stars but i still loved it i love the story i vibe with it i like the darker elements hook is definitely a book boyfriend i was so into this like series um by emily mcintyre i ended up really liking her writing as well there will be a reading vlog where i actually go into a lot more depth on hooked and a couple other books that will be going up on wednesday so stay tuned for that but i wanted to tell you guys a bit about it if you guys don't watch that reading vlog then you will know but yeah i gave hooked four stars then i read scarred by emily mcintyre this one i actually ended up giving five stars to i absolutely love this one like i still every time i think about it as you can see, like, I guess so, like, I swoon just thinking about Tristan Fossa. Like, this is a Lion King retelling. Not retelling, but it has, like, elements to it. So we have our hero, who is Tristan Fossa. And then we have our heroine, which is Sarah Betrayal. Betro, something like that. I'm just gonna say Sarah. I don't know her last name. But Tristan is the prince of this kingdom-ish. Yeah, like a kingdom and his older brother Michael is the king but he's a bad king and Tristan is like building this army where he wants to take down the kingdom and Sarah is actually infiltrating this kingdom she is going to be she is Michael's betrothed but really she has ulterior motives and she ends up falling in love with Tristan and their whole relationship is phenomenal it's perfect it is a slow burn but once we get to the sweaty scenes it was so worth it and the build-up was absolutely amazing like i loved it so much they had so many moments where it's like forced proximity and like he likes to like banter back and forth with her and she was just such a badass heron she didn't take any shit she was a little bit blinded on the facts of the whole house and by family and stuff but the plot was interesting the setting was interesting i loved our couple oh my god like i literally swoon i could melt it was a lot Lot more of a slow burn than I thought it was gonna be but like honestly like I was eating it up like it was so good I definitely loved it way more than the first book scarred I love it I ended up even buying like the paper copy like I loved it so much I did end up bringing it on my Kindle though so next one that I read was a hard knocks by Cassie Mint this one I believe our hero and our heroine live in the same apartment building hero and our heroine's apartments keep getting broken into so she goes and asks her neighbor which was our hero to teach her how to fight and he like kind of does something where she's like he doesn't really like me it's this whole back and forth but really he like really likes her and he was just scared to scare her because he's so attracted to her and he didn't want to like push her and hit her or whatever like while they're practicing self-defense and it was really cute i really liked it i gave it three stars i believe i i think i gave it three stars <laughs> Then after that, I ended up reading Contradictions by Amber Sands. This was actually a fanfic, a Dramione fanfic. And this one was super hyped up by Jen from the Book Refuge. And I absolutely loved it. I gave it 4.5 stars, but I rounded it down to a 4. Because I don't know how many pages this one is, but I just remember feeling that it was super long while I was reading it. So that's why I kind of rounded it down instead of up. Overall, this one is about our heroine Hermione she is wanting to join this club, a secret society, maybe just like this kind of club where they match you with somebody in the BDSM world. And for her first encounter, she is asked to be blindfolded and she has this steamy moment with our hero, Draco. Hermione and Draco actually have like this enemies to lovers kind of past like they don't really like each other obviously because of like the whole harry potter setting and they have this demon encounter and then she takes the blindfold off and she is like shook that it's draco and she like immediately like leaves the scene and draco actually confronts her at their place of work because they actually work together but hermione didn't know because draco was like not trying to be in her presence or whatever also draco didn't know that it was hermione because hermione had done this spell where like it would change her like face kind of so like they neither of them knew who they were so draco ends uh pulling up on her saying that it was really dangerous what she did because there was no aftercare like if she did her research which you know it's hermione so she knows 
she did so she knows she fucked up and like they do the aftercare thing and then they kind of come to this agreement that they will be each other's like partners as a dom and a sub and it goes from there i really really loved it there was a lot of emotional healing like through sex and it was really smutty i do wish we would have gotten draco's point of view but it was all of it was in hermione's point of view and i just loved all the magical elements i loved honestly draco really did it for me like he really did <laughs> like their relationship was so good and it's honestly a really good introduction to dom and sub relationships but yeah i also did enjoy the plot i did think the third act breakup was a little bit dramatic especially from hermione's point of view just because she always thinks she's right <laughs> but overall i really really loved it 4.5 rounded it down to a 4 then I ended up reading Mafia Target by Mila Finelli. I also read Without You by Marley Valentine and For Real by Alexis Hall. All three of these books, I actually did a MM romance reading vlog. So if you guys want to see my full in-depth thoughts, I will leave them up here in the cards for you guys to click on. It is such a good vlog. I go into a lot of heavy detail. So I won't go into that much heavy detail on these because the vlog is already posted. Then I ended up picking up Her Mountain Man Beast by Elena Dawn. On. I needed a couple of spicy novellas. I had read so many books and I was like, I need something quick. I need something smutty. And that's these three that I have right here. So anyways, Her Mountain Man Beast by Elena Dawn. This was really good. It was kind of unhinged, but I did give it three stars. It was, it was really good. Um, let me see if I can remember what it was about. <laughs> <laughs> with these novellas I always like read it and then forget it so this one is about our hero he has been pining for our heroine for the longest time but he is a scarred hero so he doesn't think that the heroine truly likes him or wants to be with him because he's just all scarred and stuff and he kind of puts himself in these positions he kind of like stalks her and then he puts himself in these positions for them to like run in together so they can have interactions our hero is also non-verbal so he just grunts and like the heroine knows him so much that she knows like she knows how to like what he means and stuff but the heroine she is actually pining for our hero as well she thinks she he is so attractive and she's so into him and she is actually a divorcee her ex is absolute shit and i also liked the heroine's father he was fair he is a hoarder but he's like not a bad hoarder but like it interferes with his relationship with his daughter but the hero the way that he kind of handles it is super cute and like it's funny and then um they also have like this readers club where the heroine actually gets books shipped to this small mountain town and it's in this library setting and the hero sits there and like reads the books that she recommends and they're like spicy books and it's it's really good i gave it three stars i really really enjoyed it and it was hot then i ended up picking picking up the felon's honey by bj man just bj man the felon's honey i should have known it wouldn't be that good i believe i gave it 2.5 stars i don't know if i run it up or down i think i run it down um these are honestly unhinged so the first one felon's honey this one is basically our hero is out of prison and he was wrongfully put in prison so he goes to like get revenge and he pulls up to this lawyer's house i think he's a lawyer where that was the lawyer who kind of dismissed evidence and 